Today I am shooting on the Canon R3 body and uh, have the privilege of testing out the Canon RF 100 to 300 millimeter f2.8 lens. My first impression of the lens, it's bigger than I expected and I was worried that it was gonna be too heavy to manage, especially for an hour long of shooting. I do not consider myself the world's strongest guy whatsoever, and uh, it's still manageable. It's 5.8 pounds, you don't lug around. It is 5.8 pounds, it's not a very light length. I was surprised that I didn't need a monopod as I got it, my hands on it, felt how balanced it was, and started to shoot both with the stabilization and the design, and that large size just quickly became a positive because I knew I was going to be able to get those shots further away that, uh, that I really wanted to get. Got it. The 2.8, you get that depth of field, that out of focus effect. I didn't realize the compression because I'm just looking down the sidewalk and that's beautiful, but if you actually turn around and look, there's a hillside with homes beyond where we're shooting, and so the compression of this lens brings all of that closer. Uh, in a really intense way. Would I recommend a monopod? Uh, yes, for my context, which is typically sports photography. Now, do you need a monopod to use this lens? No, not at all. I could imagine tossing this lens in my bag and taking it to many different things, whether it's for photo or video even, but where, where the option is available, especially for the context, a monopod would be very helpful. Today, the autofocus was the big question for me. Even with his helmet and his glasses on, the autofocus system is still tracking with his face and prioritizing his face. What's really nice is the zoom is really fluid. It's really smooth. And so as he's coming towards me, even with as large as it is, I'm able to zoom out and back up with him. And the camera is able to maintain the autofocus, but it's also easy to stabilize. The autofocus didn't miss. I was able to shoot Joey coming at me at an incredible rate of speed. I go ahead, you locked in the light, through the light, through the trees, through the shade, far, close, in a box with a fox, on a train in the rain. This thing doesn't miss. That's awesome, let's do it again. They put dual USM motors in this lens. That way, this lens can keep up with that incredibly high frame rate, even in those more challenging autofocus situations. So I'm used to using the 70 to 200 millimeter most of the time. And being able to go from 100 to 300 is a huge advantage, especially in sports. Beyond that, Canon provides a tele extender at 1.4X and also 2X. So as great as the 100 to 300 has been, when I think about having the 2X and taking this 100 to 300 and making it a 200 to 600, that's incredible. There's gonna be reasons why it's not the best lens for some people, but for me, who does a lot of different sports photography, videography, and a wide variety of event coverage, 10 out of 10. So I'm sure I'll be swinging through picture lines soon enough to pick this beautiful lens up and add it to my entire ecosystem. Thanks, Canon.